Do you want to know how to make this amazing kofta curry? Well, I'm going to show you today. Keep watching. All right, to make this delicious kofta curry, the first thing we will need to do is tackle the kebabs. Uh, you can use any mince you like, beef or mutton or chicken. I've got some beef over here. I've got um, some coriander leaves, an egg, uh, half onion. Um, if you want to know, it's about 150 grams. This is about 500 grams. We'll use some ginger garlic paste. And whenever I say ginger garlic paste, I mean 50% um, ratio of ginger and 100% ratio of garlic and at any quantity you can mix it. We have some spices over here. I'll go along and some freshly ground black pepper. And we'll also put a little bit of baking soda in there. So let's start. All right, so the first thing I want to do is make a really fine grind of all these onions. So I've got uh, 150 grams of onions in there. And I've got a food chopper, of course. And I'm just going to grind it do it until it's fine all right so our grinded onions are ready so only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of muslin cloth right here with a bowl underneath it and we'll just empty it out what we have to do is drain out all the um, liquid from the onions so all the onion water needs to come out okay so as you can see we have the onions and a lot of water is going to come out all right, so to the bowl, we're going to add, take a big bowl, if you can, all the beef mints, the onions that we uh, took the water out of. Let's put all of them in. We're going to put ginger garlic paste, just about one teaspoon over here or so. I'll put lots of freshly ground black pepper. one and about one and a half of coriander seeds. So this is the Kashmiri uh, red chili and I'm putting about one and a, uh, about one or so because we'll add it to our gravy as well. Of course, I'm putting some um, turmeric. This is cumin uh, seeds powder. This I'm putting just half. Right here is a chili, red chili, it's really spicy, so I'm not going to put too much, I'm just going to put this much. Once our spices have been put, we'll add one egg to this. Egg would really help it bind. A few of the coriander leaves right here. And I will also be adding a little bit of baking soda. That will help in the browning, about one uh, fourth of a spoon. That's all. We'll also be adding ground flour basin. However, we won't add it right away. We'll just add a little bit of it and we'll add more if we require it. All right, so we're going to mix everything. You don't have to wear gloves. You can just use uh, clean washed hands and we'll mix everything through. All right, let's add some salt. How you can add some salt and see if it's okay is what I like to do is put everything in there and flatten it out and sort of just salt the top. So I feel like I wouldn't have a better idea of what I'm putting. Now salt, of course, according to your taste and we'll mix it one more time. I feel like I need one more teaspoon of brown flour here to get a better binding. And, all right, so this is what they would come up to. They are sticky as you can see, but we don't need them to be too, too banding like a dough. Um, you need to get a about room temperature sort of water and we'll make our koftas, which are basically our meatballs. Wet your hands, grab a little bit, however big you want. Honestly, there's not really a um, size, fence, maybe 50 grams or so. So you can have a nice ones. And I've oiled up a tray over here. And I've been keeping it right here like this. 
So as you can see, our koftas are done and we'll be frying them in momentarily. Until that time, I'll keep them in the fridge for them to firm up. All right, so we have got all of our meatballs right here to the koftas. And what we'll do is we'll shallow fry them in here and a little bit of oil. However, you can deep fry them, you can air fry them. It's your call. You can make patties out of this, put them in a burger if you want. So what I've done is I've put a little bit of oil in my hand. And I'll be putting it through as I'm going and just shaping them. All right, so I'm just going to finish them off in an air fryer today. All right, so as you can see, I finished my uh, meatballs, koftas in the air fryer and they look amazing. They're brown from all the sides. They look good. You can eat them just like that if you want to. All right, so today we'll be using mustard oil, which is my favorite to cook with. Go with what you need. This has a really high smoking point and to use it, we will need to bring it to a very high smoking point and then bring the temperature down. That's how I use mustard oil. All right, so as you can see, it has started smoking now. I'm just going to turn it off and let it come down to a normal temperature so I can start cooking. And this is how you open up a mustard oil. All right, so now be ready with your few things. I've got some whole spices over here. I've got bay leaf, uh, the big cardamom, small cardamom. This is black and this is green, a little bit of cinnamon. And uh, we also have cloves over here. So we're going to pop those in right away. And then we're going to take some cumin seeds and pop those in right away. As soon as they start to splatter, see that? They're going to splatter right now. We're going to take two medium onions, chop, and they're all going to go in there. I'll put a little bit of salt only, just to draw some moisture out of the onions. So onion is reaching a good stage over here. However, if you want to get them a little bit brown and you want them to break down a little bit faster, what you could do is just put a splash of water in there, mix it, and just cover it up. So once you see that onions start reaching this stage over here, we have some coriander stems that I have chopped very fine. We'll add those in right here. After the coriander stems, I have some chopped up green chilies. So those ones in as well. Mix that in. To this, I'm going to add one big tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste. And we'll also mix that in and let it cook off. So as you can see, this is what it has become for, of our onions right here. They've been fried off nicely, they're brown. This is why we do this in stages. First, we're going to turn off our gas completely. So now is the time to add all of our spices. One, one more time, this is uh, coriander powder. I'll put two tablespoons of that, two teaspoons of this. This is extremely hot chili, so I'm only going to put about half. Turmeric. This is Kashmiri red chili powder. So we're just going to put this much. Mix it completely. And just so our spices don't burn, We'll add a little bit of water and we'll cook this until the water has evaporated completely. As you can see, our water has evaporated. To this, we're going to add all of our tomatoes. These are two tomatoes that I chopped up and also our yogurt, which I'm just going to whisk a little bit just so it doesn't split apart. This is natural homemade yogurt. Let's turn the heat up to high. And again, we're going to cook this until the water completely evaporates and the fat starts separating. Just so your tomatoes can um, break down easy, I'm putting some salt in there as well. You can always All right, so as you can see, this concoction is ready. Um, water has evaporated almost and the fat is separated. We'll add our meatballs to this now. All right, so the meatballs have been added very carefully now, stirred it around. And what we'll do to this is add hot water, 
but you want to make sure that you don't add too too much that you want a gravy that's very thick so make sure you have enough water in there the meatballs will absorb some of the water uh, also check your seasoning if you need some salt or pepper go ahead and add it now cover and cook on very slow flame for at least half an hour so when the gravy is almost done I've taken out the meatballs right here the koftas and the gravy itself I'm just going to blend it until it's not completely smooth it's just still a little bit chunky but you get a very nice consistency with this your gravy will start to look absolutely amazing and really silky so I've blended the gravy quite nicely as you can see but it's still not completely smooth it's still a tad bit chunky and that's how I want it and I'll transfer the kofas back in there Don't worry about this little thing that came with it. Let it be and you want all those textures. To this, I'm going to add some coriander leaves. I have julienne of uh, ginger over here. I'm going to add that. Some cream. Mix everything through one more time. Look how beautiful this gravy is now. and let it just cook for about five minutes or so until it comes together again. So let's take a look at our final product. Let's dish it out and show you.